Tonight, the Way 31 I team is getting results after a family says it took an ambulance more than an hour to respond to an emergency call. Good evening, I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. After doing some digging, we found it's not the first time the company has been late to a call. Way 31's I team reporter Brecken Terry joins us live with the changes that will come for the Shoals ambulance. Brecken. The city of Florence and Lauderdale County have a contract with Shoals Ambulance you see behind me here. But for people who live here, they tell me the company isn't doing a good enough job. I spoke with one family who tells me their response time was ridiculous. We didn't know at this time, you know, how bad her injuries were. This woman wants to be anonymous because she doesn't want to embarrass her family member by sharing their story. She told me her 65 year old mother in law fell at her home in Green Hill a few weeks ago and they called 911. And she kept repeating herself that it would be a while, that it would take a while. A while turned into an hour and a half. When I took their concerns to Shoals Ambulance, they called it a perfect storm. They told me this family did, in fact, wait an hour and a half for service because they were swamped with priority one emergency calls. And this particular call was priority two. I get they were busy and covered up and stuff, but as my mother-in-law laid there for an hour and a half on, you know, hot pavement and very uncomfortable, um, hurt, um, in a lot of pain, we could do nothing but put ice on her and, you know, just pray that they would hurry up. The woman and her family couldn't move her mother-in-law, and she ended up having a broken ankle. Eventually, the ambulance showed up. She has blood pressure issues. By the time they got her to the emergency room, her blood pressure was sky high. She was trembling, still in a lot of pain. And I just think it's ridiculous that someone would have to wait that long. I wanted to know why a volunteer fire department wasn't dispatched to the scene. I was told it was in the system as a second priority call. And volunteer fire departments only go to life-threatening calls or fires. It ain't just a Green Hill issue. Um, it's a county issue. Um, and when I say county, I mean Lauderdale County and the city of Florence. Green Hill Volunteer Fire Chief Barry Gray told me any time his department goes on a call, they have to wait for a Shoals ambulance to show up. The it's become such an issue they began documenting the, the incidences you see here. Uh, we have issues time, from and in the ambulance. not having an ambulance. Um, them having to uh, dispatch an ambulance from another county um, to ambulances showing up, um, equipment failing. I took these questions to Shoals Ambulance and asked if they were in compliance with their contract with the county and city. The company said on average five times a month they're having to request other ambulance services to come in and help. The county EMA director told Way 31 that is not a contract violation and said Shoals Ambulance is in compliance. If an ambulance is 10 minutes, 15 minutes away, that's too long, uh, much less an hour and a half. As I was interviewing Chief Gray, the department was called to a car wreck where this truck left the road and hit a tree. I went with volunteer firefighters to the scene on County Road 47. We got there before the second ambulance did and watched as three people were loaded up into two Shoals Ambulances. And if every call, if response time was like that, we're good. Um, that was, that's the way it should be. Chief Gray said the problem is not every call goes like that. No chief in this county is, is wanting shows gone. We just want you to do what you say you're going to do and, and be honest about it. And if you can't do it, own up to it and let this county get somebody that can do it. Now, Shoals Ambulance was the only ambulance service that put in a bid to work for the city and county. They told us that because of the Green Hill family's response time, they're now looking at ways to improve. They are working with a deployment planning expert to go over, over their system here in Lauderdale County to see if there are any areas that they could improve in. Now, they said once that report is done, they will hand it over to the Lauderdale County EMA director, commissioners, and law enforcement officials. We hope to get a copy of that report. Live in Florence, Breck and Terry, Y31 News.